Good evening, YouTubers. The new time travel behind me, 88. I'm back with another Doctor Who DVD review. And tonight, we're going to look at Doctor Who The War Machines. This is a brilliant story. Yup. I love this episode. And this is, is requested by YouTube user Blakey Boys is Cool. Thank you for requesting this episode. Anyway, this four part adventure. It's transmitted on June 25th through July 16th, 1966. And this is the last aired Doctor Who story for William Hartnell as the Doctor. And the last appearances of Jackie Lane and they introduced two companions, Michael Craze and Anneke Willis as Polly. Okay, let's begin with the plot, shall we? The plot begins, the TARDIS lands in London, in Fritzroy Square, near the post office towers. The doctor is unsettled by the sensation of the strange energy nearby. Visiting a new completed towers, the doctor and Dodo meet Professor Brent, the creator of Walton. Will operation throw analog? An advanced problem-solving computer that thinks for itself courteously, Walton even knows what the world TARDIS stands for. In four days' time, on Sea Day, Walton will be linked to other major computers to take them over, including the White House, Kate Kennedy, and the Royal Navy. Dodo goes with Polly. Brett's secretary to the local Infernal nightclub where they met Abe Seaman Ben Jackson while the doctor attend the Royal Scientific Club meeting about the Walton led by Sir Charles Summer before Brett can depart the GPO tower for the meeting. He is hypnotized by the human noise emitted by the Walton. He fetched a Krypton electric colleague from the meeting and takes him to the Walton, who is likewise possessed by the computer. Major Green, is the chief of security in the tower, is also taking control and sends the Walton's control signals to Dodo at the nightclub via telephone. Going to the towers, Walton tells her Doctor Who is required braiding him here. Walton has concluded that mankind cannot develop the world any further and intend to take over using army of war machine mobilized computer like itself using hypnotic control Walton enlists a workforce to construct 12 war machines around London which is the first capital to become control once these machines is built in the warehouse Covent Garden closed to the infernal nightclub dodo and the doctor ben and polly leave for sir charles residence where the doctor has been invited to stay in a taxi that drops off a tramp by the nightclub looking for a place to sleep the tramp discovered brent and the workforce building three in the warehouse the tramp is caught and killed when he tries to escape the next day, Dodo managed to get the doctor to telephone Brent at the GPO tower. He is nearly possessed by Walton, thinking the doctor is now controlled. Dodo gives herself away by revealing that the war machines are being constructed at a strategic point in London. The doctor breaks the Walton hypnotic control over her, and she is sent to stay with Sir Charles' wife in the country to recover. When Polly fails to show up to a luncheon with Ben, the doctor sends the lad to investigate the area around the nightclub after reading about the death of a tramp in the newspaper. Ben has also discovered the war machine in the warehouse now fully assembled and being tested under Major Green's supervision. Ben is detected by the machine and is caught up. By now, hypnotized Polly how. However, Ben is spared when Polly states that the Walt Tom requires all slave labors as we can find. 
while working with other machines, Ben learns that the 12 war machines are attacked at noon the next day. He escapes until seeing not yet stopped by Polly and alerts the doctor and Sir Charles. Polly is sent back to the tower to be pushed by the Waltons. Under Sir Charles' instruction of Army Tax Force, the warehouse of by the weapons are somehow disabled by the war machine. But they are forced to retreat, but the doctor stands definitely before the machine has emerged from the warehouse. It stopped. It had not been completely programmed. When the deactivation of the machine 3, the workmen, including Major Green, are released from its control. Examining machine's program, the doctor learns that 11 others has been built across London and are meant to attack at noon today. Soon after, there are reports of another war machine. Machine 9, taken to the street, has gone rogue while it's being tested. With the help of the army, the doctor traps the machine in an electromagnetic force field, paralyzing and reprogram it to destroy Walton. Ben goes to the GPO tower ahead of Machine 9 and drags Polly out the Walton room as the machine enters attack in the multiple control, I mean, in the multiple computer, Crimpton is killed, but the Walton is destroyed before it can give the order for the other 10 war machines to commence their attack, and Brent and the others has been hypnotized return to normal. Ben and Polly meet the doctor at the TARDIS to explain that Dodo has declined to stay, I mean, decided to stay in London, excuse me. The doctor thanked them and heads to the police box. Following Ben and Polly, who enters the TARDIS with the internal return, Dodo's key, which Doctor drops earlier, they are suddenly whisked off into time and space. Wow. Yup. Great episode, too. I love it because this is a best story featuring all of it. Now let's take a look at the uh, the DVD features. It's the spine. Here's the still pictures from the story. Here we have commentaries by Annika Wilkins and director Michael Ferguson. Now and then, one foot in the past, Wanton a symbol, full of gallery, DVD ROM, war machine design plan, and so forth. Here's the D DVD for the War Machines. This is an episode. This, on far the side of that episode, the massive videotape for this story has been junk in 1974. The seven, I mean, the 16 millimeter film recording copies are held by the BBC as the last to kind of be destroyed. Shortly after, until 1978, an Australia a collector in Australia provided a copy of Episode Two. Later, in 1984, all four copies were returned from Nigeria. Episode Two and Three, I mean Episode Two, Three, and Four have all cuts to them, but most has been restored due to combination of their copy of Episode Two material used in the promotional. Item as BBC Blue Pitter and sensor clips. Some restored footage did not accompany the soundtrack, so the missing sound was restored from an off air recording. To this date, only episode 3 and 4 do not exist in entirely as originally attend. Episode 3 is missing visual brief bit of dialogue with Krypton talking. This was replaced. In the VHS release, with combination of shot of the Walton accompanying dialogue from the off-air recording, episode three is also missing around 59 seconds worth of the battle in the warehouse. Episode four missing a small amount of material because in the main telephone. So for the DVD release has been restored. There are also two lines of dialogue missing when Polly reports back to the Walton. 
However, it has been not reinstated for the VHS release. The DVD have all episodes recreate and restored to their original names. Well, that's, as you know, I said it before, this is the last aired episode in the, for William Hartnell, The War Machines. However, when the North American station began airing it, PBS began move forward to the Patrick Troughton story, The Tomb of the Cybermen. That's it from here. This is the Doctor Who DVD re requested by Blakey Boy is Cool. Well, that's it. Remember, if you have re requested Doctor Who DVD review that you want me to do, feel free to post a comment on my channel. Till we meet again, this is the new Time Travel Jaime 88 saying goodbye.